Hi, everyone, this one's gonna be short and straight to the point video. The final piece of hardware that we all have been waiting for, the hot staging ring for Booster 9 arrived inside the Mega Bay. La Padra's Rover 1 cam captured the moment when it was moved into Mega Bay for installation on the booster. SpaceX wasted no time and it was lifted and placed on top of the booster for proper installation. Mark your calendars, a road closure notice has been issued for testing on the 21st, indicating that Booster 9's rollout to the launch pad is imminent. As we eagerly anticipate this next phase, a question lingers, will it be another static fire test or perhaps a wet dress rehearsal? Keep an eye out, as a potential launch date of August 31st is on the horizon. For the Starship Flight 2 to happen, SpaceX has taken a significant step forward by submitting their comprehensive report on the April Starship Integrated Flight Test mishap to the Federal Aviation Administration. The review process is now in progress, a development initially reported by payload. Following the unfortunate mid-air destruction of the vehicle, the FAA predictably grounded the Starship program, prompting SpaceX to implement a series of changes and modifications in order to obtain a new license. Let us wait and see how fast the FAA comes out with an answer. A little while ago, SpaceX launched its 58th successful mission of the year. Starlink Group 6-10 was launched atop a Falcon 9 from SLC-40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. Two, one, ignition. Engines full power, and lift off of Starlink 6 10. Go Starlink, go Falcon. The first stage booster, B-1067 launched and landed for the 13th Page one time. Landing was deployed. Stage 1 landing confirmed. That's it for now. Thank you once again. Stay tuned for more updates in the next video.